Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope each one of you are doing great. Many of you had been asking me to do a kids routine kind of video. And I was not sure of how to make a content on that because my kids are not in a strict routine that they follow every day. Each day is a lesson and they experience it in a different way. We as parents are here to guide them each day and each moment in their life till they are fully independent. And like any parent, I want my kids to be independent in their future. So guidance is focused on that. Last weekend, I cooked breakfast and we packed to have it from a park nearby. Even if it's the simplest of what I make, I love having it outdoor. It was idli and chutney that I prepared for our breakfast, healthy and tasty. Me and husband woke first, tried to make everything ready and then woke up the kids. These are tiny honey jars I had saved as they looked really cute. I packed sugar and jaggery for tea. And off we go. We went to a nearby park with beach and it's a very relaxing spot to just simply sit and breathe in some fresh air. So before going to the park, let me just interrupt because I'm glad and excited to announce something regarding English 360. First of all, very happy to have our first batch running successfully. Glad to hear the feedback from many of you personally and the team. Now, if you're new to this channel and if you're wondering what English 360 is all about, this is a spoken English course that I launched last month with an amazing team of certified trainers and others. We have more than 150 students in our first batch. Now, when I say 150 students, these students are mainly homemakers who are willing to speak English fluently from the very basic level. And also we have working professionals who are looking forward to improve their English to an advanced level. We have our app, we have live sessions rather than just recorded audio. Each one in our first batch is gaining confidence in speaking English and hence, maybe by word of mouth I guess, we have been getting a lot of requests to start the second batch. And that's what I'm here for to announce that we are starting our second batch soon. So those who are willing to join this course, please hurry up and with due respect to the request from many of you, the offer is still on this 50% discount. Do use my code MOMTASTIC360 and enroll as soon as possible. Now let me tell you why you need to invest your money in learning English with us. We have certified trainers in this course who will help you and guide you in becoming a pro at speaking English fluently, flawlessly and confidently.
our chief coach sandhya verma an excellent personality who's been in this field for more than a decade and even more i can say is the curriculum designer of english 360 to help you learn and cope with the struggles that you are facing in english we have live sessions to interact with the participants that are distinct from other spoken english courses in the market yo second question are you able to follow me yes ma'am yes ma'am yes yes clear okay so you gain the advantage of having your trainer live communicating with you which is helping you in in your speaking confidence we have an app where you can work out your assignments through the app you have personal trainer with you so these are the areas covered while you are in english 360 and each when you invest is worth it for you i'm sure this will help you to reach your goal just a brief description of our course for those who don't know or those who are new to this channel we have two levels in english 360 The basic level or the level one is for complete beginners who want to start speaking English fluently and confidently. We have six live group classes over three months. Level one and level two both are three months course, so we have six live group classes over this three months. Then there are twenty teacher-led, self-paced online sessions. Worksheets and practice materials will be provided to you, as I said earlier. it will be through the app you will have q and a sessions with experts there will be daily 30 minute self paced practice session with customized routine so that's about level 1 coming to level 2 the structure is similar or the same but content in level 2 will be different as this level focuses mainly on business english or say to an advanced level i shall give the joining links in the description box send a message and you will get a proficiency test to know which level you belong to you can decide yourself or we are here to help you so hurry up classes will begin soon enroll your name with the code provided momtastic360 to avail of the discount now back to the vlog so here we are at the park enjoying the cool breeze and the voice of the sea with breakfast and a cup of tea is all that uplifts your mood being away from the chaos one thing i have decided while thinking of resolutions this year is to try coming out on fridays or saturdays to some outdoor area be it at a park or a beach with home cooked meals probably breakfast because lunch time at park or beach or an open area i meant will be sunny dinner will be in the dark and it would be good at a well lit area so i always prefer breakfast and for that reason all wake up soon i was never a beach person i never felt it exciting to play at the beach i was always scared of water until i learned swimming Still not an expert but I feel deep inside the sea has another world of calmness. Even being at beach side listening to the wave sound the birds or the seagulls roaming here and there kids playing around with the wet sand all these has a lot to do with your mental happiness. You sit and look far away deep breath in some fresh air and breathe out all your negatives that has to be flushed away with the blue waters in the sea. Try this once if you haven't and you feel good. So, back home. 
kids are going for weekend badminton coaching so i take them to the club after coming back i started for lunch and today it's my kids favorite prawns biryani making it in a different style somewhat similar to how i made in the last vlog of last year's ramadan series Firstly frying some sliced onion. A few will be set aside for garnish. The rest will go into the prawns masala. To this added some curry leaves for an extra flavor. Here I have large prawns. I guess these are called tiger prawns. This is one kilo. I will just cut each in half. Normally, it's not the prawns that taste the best. It's a gravy the prawns have been cooking, and it's packed full of flavors. Into a cooking pot, add some oil left over from frying onion. Add the prawns. Add fried onion around a cup. Then goes crushed ginger, garlic, and green chilies. chopped tomatoes some coriander leaves now in between i had to drop my husband for his badminton game he goes to the same club where kids go for coaching and i need to pick them and come back Just letting you know that it's not always that my work goes smooth. There's distractions in between, but I enjoy being distracted, or else I'll get bored. And I love keeping myself busy. back to the prawns masala goes in some mint leaves and here i have my family on a video call to this goes garam masala powder coriander powder some turmeric powder curd some salt now if you want you can add a bit of lemon juice or vinegar if your curd is in sour enough mix everything well i changed to a wider clay pot to make it easier and taste better Now for the rice into a cooking pot add 2 or 3 tablespoons of ghee add whole spices cardamom cloves cinnamon mace star anise saute one onion that's sliced mix for a minute and add washed and drained rice here i've used jeera gashala rice you can go for basmati if you wish roast for 3 or 4 minutes on medium low flame I used two and a half cups of rice in the steam cup or the mug, using four and a half cups of hot water to cook the rice. Add 
add one carrot that's sliced and few chopped coriander leaves along with some salt. Keep on high flame and keep covered. When it boils, reduce the flame and cook. Meanwhile, I prepared some condiments. The green chutney that goes well with biryanis is a blend of coconut, coriander leaves, ginger, green chilies, curd, vinegar and salt. You may add some mint leaves if you want but I skip mint leaves. Water from the rice is completely evaporated. Time to layer it on top of the prawn masala. Now if you need the tomatoes to be a little more soft, you can heat some oil, saute the ginger garlic green chilies that's crushed, add the tomatoes, then turn off the flame, mix in the rest of the ingredients and layer the rice. Spring some garam masala powder on top, cover well and let the steam come through. Keep on high flame for 5 minutes, then reduce the flame to low for 15 to 20 minutes. For another condiment, slice an onion and chop few green chilies. Mix it well. Add this to a bowl. Add some vinegar and some salt. Slicing two more green chilies, mix and refrigerate till use. You can even slice a small piece of beetroot to add a beautiful color. That's curd mixed with some chopped cucumber, tomato, and coriander leaves. You can see aromatic steam is coming out well. As this is a clay pot, I need to check if anything is caught at the bottom. So removing maximum rice into another pot before mixing it all together. The pot is fine and nothing is burnt, so mixing everything together. Time for lunch. My boys are happy after lunch because they don't have to clean up their plates. They have to just dispose of the banana leaf. Here at home, after having any meal, each one wash their plate, be it my husband or kids. All the house chores I have taught my sons to do. It's not everything at a time. Gradually made them do one at a time. Earlier, they used to take their plates to the kitchen. Later, asked them to throw off any food waste in the dustbin. And now, they wash them. Rihan cleans the table. Arman arranged chairs and these are not given as orders. I request them to help me. So it becomes an emotional touch and they do it out of love for their mother. And this is not just for the kitchen. Rihan does laundry and does it really well. My husband does the laundry folding and kids keep those in places. They both are asked to keep their tables and bed neat and clean every time. And again not with pressure. It takes 21 days to create a habit. So I need to keep reminding them for any task for around 3 or 4 weeks till it becomes a habit. 
I make them do all these for their benefit and just a message to the society that used to have gender inequality that existed in my childhood and even now in some households. We cannot blame anyone for it because that's what our culture taught us and we are conditioned that way. But I think it has badly affected the women gender. Not being a feminist or anything against men. Just bringing out equality in the society and I hope my boys contribute it well. So that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to enroll your name for English 360. Use my code MOMTASTIC360 for 50% discount. Check out the description box for more details. Stay tuned for another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.